Woo! <laughs> What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd, bringing you practical and actionable dating advice that really works. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how to keep a girl interested. So for these guys that are being able to attract a girl at the beginning, it seems like they're interested, um, but then later on you're having problems, like maybe after a first date, maybe after you've been talking for a little bit, uh, maybe after you've had sex, or, or maybe you've just been like talking for a little bit, it was going well at the beginning, um, and then you lost her. So uh, for these guys, that are having this problem and a lot of my students a lot of the, the, my viewers and people that come to me with these questions have these problems okay so first I'm gonna tell you what's going on why these girls are getting bored or, or they're leaving or maybe they're just losing interest or whatever it is I'm gonna tell you the steps that you can take to keep the girl interested and overall how to make sure that this doesn't happen to you in the future because if this problem is happening to you repeatedly I can almost assure you that you are the reason the girls are losing interest Okay, so uh, why do girls lose interest in the first place? Well, there's a multitude of reasons, but basically what she thought at the beginning of uh, when she started seeing you or when she started talking to you, um, she doesn't think that anymore. So something changed, okay? Uh, her, I guess whatever opinion of you she had in her head is now different than, than what she feels now. And look, there's some stuff that's not within your control. Certain people are just gonna change your mind and you can't control what goes on in a girl's head before she meets you. Like if you look like an ex-boyfriend who she used to date, um, you can't really change that, but there's a lot that you can change. And so I'm going to talk about in this video. Okay. So one of the things that I see guys, and this is the first tip that I'm going to give you is that keep an era, um, keep an aura of mystery about you. You want to be a little bit mysterious with women. So uh, if you go on a first date with a girl, let's say she's really interested at the beginning and you reveal a whole bunch of information about yourself, like you tell her everything in your life. Well, she's kind of already learned everything. Like there's no mystery. There's nothing to look forward to. There's nothing that she can learn about you in the future. So she's probably going to get bored and, you know, maybe move on to somebody else who will give her that sense of mystery. I've made this mistake plenty of times on a date where I was so into this girl, you know, at the beginning and I just revealed everything that I could possibly think of in my life. I don't have ever thought. I would just be like telling her a bunch of all this, all, all this stuff. <laughs> and, um, and then she just learned everything about me. There wasn't anything exciting to learn. And then she just kind of moved on to another guy after that. So if you're a guy where that's happening to, I would highly suggest that you only reveal a few things for, with her at the beginning uh, and keep a little bit of mystery there later on. Now, when I talk to women, uh, I, I don't do that. I kind of reveal a little bit about myself to them. Um, you know, stuff, stuff, stuff that I do, um, things that are my hobbies, um, and I let her kind of, uh, I guess, inquire as to, to more information about it. And so I think that strategy works a lot better. In this case, less is more. Uh, step two is she's probably intimidated by you. So don't be so intimidating. For a lot of the guys that are like really attractive at the beginning, um, they're a really good match, maybe they got like a, a great thing going for them, maybe they're really good looking, whatever it is. Don't try and be that big lofty person because a lot of times, especially guys that you know, haven't had a whole, lot of, a whole lot of success with women, they tend to think that they have to be up here and the girl is gonna wanna get with them. That's not really true, okay? Women already know that you're up there and what they want to feel is they wanna feel a sense of comfort with you because attraction does have a, a lot of different parts. First, you have to attract the girl, then she has to feel comfortable with you. And if you've been out a lot, you know that a lot of times comfort beats uh, attraction. They, they're gonna go for the guy they feel more comfortable with, but if you're a guy that's bragging all the time, but if you're a guy that's like, you know, is uh, talking about how great you are and, and you know, she, I'm not saying she's not gonna believe it, what I'm saying is that she's gonna feel like, oh, like, like this guy went on a freaking yacht party last weekend and I literally stayed at home and watched Orange is the New Black. Like, he's not gonna be interested in any of my stories. We're just, we're not gonna get along. And, and a lot of times girls will say that, oh, you know, he was really good looking and like he was whatever, rich or, or something like that. But we just didn't click. A lot of times they say that you just don't click for this particular reason. So what I would invite you to do and what I do when I'm talking to girls is I like to, you know, show them that I'm just kind of like them. Like we're just two two people that are doing um, the best that we can in life. 
because sometimes when they hear about my job, like I have a following on YouTube or like I'm a self-development coach, like, or a dating coach or whatever, like they get a little bit intimidated by it. And so like, I just, I don't like to talk about it too much, but I, I will say a few things about it and then I'll ask them about what they do. And then I'll show them that they have, you know, a lot of great things going on in their life too. So now we feel more at an even p even pace. Um, and now we feel more comfortable with each other. And a lot of times that keeps girls around a lot better than just acting like the top biggest, bad, most badass dude. <laughs> you know, on the planet. Tip number three is don't show too much interest. I see a lot of guys when they meet a girl that they really like, you know, they text her, text her a whole bunch, they make her the number one priority, and it, the girl just gets uh, pushed away for that reason, especially if it's a young girl. If you're too into her at the beginning, she's gonna think something's wrong with you because she's innately insecure, and she thinks if a guy is this into me, there's gonna be, he, he probably doesn't have a whole lot of options going for him, so he must not be a great catch. And sometimes they're wrong about this. Sometimes you're just really into a girl. But what I would do is I would measure it. You know, if you've been going out for a girl, like, don't be texting her all day. Like, have something more important to do besides that and just always texting her all the time. In this case, I think less is gonna be a little more. Um, but it will lead into my next point, um, which is, no, tip number four, which is don't show too little interest. So you have to find a happy medium between these two. Obviously, if you've you know, gotten with a girl and you've been on a date with a girl and you're too into her, she's gonna be uh, pushed away for that reason. In this case, if you're planning things way too far in the future, like you're saying, oh, and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do that, she's gonna get scared, she's gonna run away. However, if you show too little interest, like if you slept with a girl and you think like this girl's in the bag, like I don't have to do anything to keep her around, um, she's probably gonna feel neglected, she's not gonna be feel good about herself, and if she's any bit intelligent, she's probably not going to message you and hang out with you again because she doesn't like feeling like that so in this case yeah like I would be you know you don't have to like message her all the time but when you do message her pay attention to what she's saying um, actually take the time to respond and tell her about your day and tell her some of the stuff that you're doing and make plans with her again okay if you do want to see this person don't think oh I'll just hit her up like Saturday during the day or Saturday at 2 a.m. and she'll be down like if you're playing that game like certain girls who are really really into you will be down for that shit but most and the smart ones especially will not and the fifth and final tip is have an exciting life. If you are the type of person who is just kind of playing video games, sit on the couch, you have a regular job that you're not really into, and then you go out at night, and then occasionally you'll get a girl, okay, sure, maybe you got some characteristics that she's into, but she's gonna eventually realize that you're kind of a boring dude and you don't have a whole lot going for you. And women get with a guy, they want they want a good storyline to happen. Like if you, hopefully you've been seeing about this, that every single little thing makes for, if you do these things wrong, it doesn't make for a good story. But if you do them right, it makes for a great story, you know? And if you have a type of job or something you're not really into or you're not really passionate about doing anything, you're not really going anywhere, you're just kind of like doing the same thing every single day, that's not an exciting story either. Women want to get with a guy who can give them an exciting story, an exciting experience, um, and overall, an exciting life. And if you have the characteristics to make that happen, then you're going to keep her interested and she's going to stay interested in you and not be going after other guys. She's just going to want to be with you. But if you don't, you're not on your own path, then chances are she's going to get bored and she's going to, uh, she's going to run away. And the, the, the crazy part about this is they will never tell you. No girl is ever gonna come up to you and say, hey, listen, the reason why I stopped being interested in you is just because you're, you're just not that ambitious. Like, she'll just, she's never gonna say that to you. She thinks she's gonna hurt your feelings too much. Um, and, but really, you have to look at yourself and your life and realize if that's the things that you've been doing, um, you probably know it. And if you have been doing it, it's time to change. And so the next time you get a girl that you really like, you can keep her interested um, and you can continue to do that. So uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program where I teach guys exactly how to do this sort of thing, hit me up, uh, send me an email at thesingleguy2017.com. You can also send, um, send, me, send a request to the new Facebook group that I started. Started. That's where I post all the stories that I'm you know, not going to post here. That's where you can have a discussion with like-minded people who are also trying to improve their dating lives too. Um, and that's where I can respond to messages faster as well. So uh, join that group. Um, and yeah, good luck out there, you guys.